What's going on, everybody? Uh, early in the morning here in Kentucky. It's seven twelve. <clears throat> I just started work shut down. Um, gonna finish that Charlie Charlie board. Got up a little early. Um, figured I'd do that since I'm off for like four days. So. I know I've been telling you guys I'm going to get back into the game on making videos and stuff, so here I am. Um, just a little update. This cup here, I won't be able to do a video on it because I'm missing the saucer that goes with it. So, for one, that's depressing. Two, yeah, there, there you go. Uh, but yeah, last time... I kind of showed you I sketched out that Charlie Charlie board with the yes and the no. Bought some brand new pencils for it. So today I'm going to wood burn and I'm using the round tip and uh, last time I, I wood burnt it was the Ouija board and I just kind of did it real time and that's what I'm going to do today. So I can just kind of talk to you guys and See what y'all are doing. Christmas is around the corner, so hope everyone's having a good Christmas. Let me know in the comments what y'all are doing. We actually did our Christmas early. Which we have a five year old. Or she will be five in January. Uh, which I'm not real religious, so I mean I don't have to celebrate it on the date. We always do ours early, which your kid will not mind if you do have a kid. They love it. They don't care. She don't know the date. Yeah, basically I'm just, I uh, wrote it out, and you can do it with paper, every YouTube video I've seen was with paper, but I figured I'd actually make an actual board. Pretty much it works like a Ouija board, but less accurate. The actual origins of the game come from like... Spain, I think. It's like a Spanish game. Which reminds me, I am going to do another video while work shut down on another occult item. It's called a uh, Sarah Sarita, something like that. And it's, uh, it's basically kind of like Charlie Charlie, but it's with coins. so weird when you're playing with the wood burner like when you go against the grain it's harder to burn when you go with it it burns easily oh I would like to do a shout out to uh... Thorn Age He's been commenting, and I actually, I have no idea who the person is, so, but I do want to make a shout out to him, hopefully, he or she doesn't mind, but I do like seeing random strangers, uh, commenting on the videos, which is cool, because that means my shit's actually getting out there. So I appreciate your concern on that, on commenting on my last video, and I do believe you've commented before, so I, I'm glad that you subscribed and actually watched my videos and are concerned with 
me and my family's well-being, which is cool. By the way, the bruise on my arm is getting better. It's just kind of like that weird, ugly phase right now. Where it's like, uh, just like gray. It's almost not even there anymore, which is pretty awesome. <clears throat> Shit was weird. Yeah, it was crazy, like, uh, each night, like, I'll, I'll go to work and then come home, uh, and then check my YouTube. Sorry if I keep stopping while I talk, it's just because I'm concentrating on this, multitasking. Um, and, uh, I had made a comment on a YouTube video here recently. It's amazing how many trolls are out there. Uh, the, and I even actually did a shout out to him on my channel like before it's uh, Trey Smith he's this like Christian uh, he has a channel so we got one word done a, a yes but uh, he, he does like documentaries and he does it on like um, almost ancient alien-ish like a uh, he does it on like the Book of Enoch and uh like the skulls, the the big elongated skulls that are found all over the world. Shit like that. And I don't know, I like them, you know? And I mean, which is kind of rare for me cuz people know about my opinion on uh Christianity and stuff. So I found this guy, and I liked him, you know, I genuinely shouted out his documentaries on my channel and stuff, and I, he had a new documentary, I don't even remember what it is, but he only shows like little clips of it for YouTube, like an hour or something, you can buy his DVDs, which I've never bought one, I ain't gonna lie, uh, just cause I kinda think... It's almost scamish, like, I don't put out DVDs, I don't even make money on this channel, I just do it simply to put the truth out, if there's any truth to anything I say, you know, I'm just simply trying to find, like, fellow thinkers and stuff, like me, people that think the same way, people that are interested in the same things. So I was watching this little documentary and like I legit commented like super nicely the best way I could. Uh, and you gotta love trolls on YouTube man. You gotta love them. But uh, I, I literally said hey uh, checked out the video. I, I enjoyed the content. Um, you put out a lot of good information. It was an interview. That's what it was. It was like a Christian interview. Like some Christian show. And he was on it. And I literally said, Love the interview. Love Trey Smith. I love the information he puts out. Love the documentaries he makes. Um, and you guys' interview show seems cool. Because it was the first time I've seen their show. So I said, you guys' interview show seems cool. And I said, I, I finished it by saying, I'm not even a Christian anymore. I said, I'm actually an agnostic when it comes to God. But I enjoy the content. Keep up the good work. So instead of all these Christians just kind of like going, oh, wow, an agnostic, you know, messaged on here they're watching the type of stuff that Trey Smith put, puts out instead of just being like wow that's quite a compliment coming from an agnostic like that's amazing that an agnostic still watches Christian content 
Instead of that, I get like two trolls that are like, uh, one of them said, I, I dealt with one last night, I just kind of had to verbally abuse him a little bit. In a nice way, I didn't cuss him or anything. I don't I do not do that with anybody, as far as like YouTube. But uh, he said, I checked out your profile, your channel. I see that you're into ancient aliens and ghosts and, and uh, conspiracies. By the way, just saying that's all work of the devil. You need, uh, or Satan, he said that's all work of Satan. You need to uh, convert and pretty much like uh, watch only Christian channels. And I, and I let it go for like a couple hours and just sat and thought about it. And then I was like, you know what? No. Like I'm not... I sat here and complimented these people's channel. I complimented the guests they had on there. You know what? So what? I threw up the flag of agnostic, but I did it in the nice way. I literally said, hey, it's a lot for me to say this, that I'm watching this Christian propaganda, for one. But what I'm, what I'm saying is you guys are putting out good information. Like, don't... I don't want to be trolled just because I throw up the flag of agnostic. I meant it as a compliment. Like, I'm an agnostic watching Christian propaganda. That shows you how much, like, what you're saying is good, and I like what you're saying. So, I don't know, I just, I thought that was bizarre and just kind of rude on, on behalf of Christianity. And if there is any Christians watching, um, you guys gotta work on something, man. Like, I don't know. You guys gotta work on something. I ran across one that was pretty cool the other day. He, he, he knocked on the door and we talked for a while. Honestly, he did like a little survey. He was like, you know, what, what, what do you think the main cause of crime is? And I was like, uh, he had like probably like five questions, something like that. And I can't remember them all off the top of my head, but he, he just did a real quick, simple survey. He was just like, uh, what do you think the cause of crime is and I was just like the main cause and I was like well probably drugs you know drugs sex um just bad upbringing of people people not being raised right uh and he was like w the next question was uh well do you think religion would would help make that go away and I was like well honestly dude no like most of anything that religion has done would be like cause warfare and actually more violence, more violence towards gays, um, blacks, just that type of thing. It was like it honestly, in my opinion, it causes more harm than good. And he was like super cool about it. He like just listened. He gave me his pamphlet and I still have it. <laughs> And you know what? Actually, I'm going to do something. Let's see. Here's a book I've been reading, Cruel Sacrifice. That's about that shame this year. Um, I'm going to do a shout out just because I, I liked the way that he did it. So it's um, Signs of the Time was the pamphlet he gave me. And I'm actually, I, I think I should do a shout out for them. It's, uh, www.glowonline.org. There's all the information there. So check them out. You know, that's the pamphlet he gave me, and I, and I will do a shout-out, because he did, he handled it professionally, and, like, he was like, you know, what do you, what do you believe in, and I was like, honestly, man, I'm agnostic, and he's like, well, do you believe in Jesus, I said, well, I mean, there might have been a historical Jesus, like, Yahshua ben Joseph, and anybody who's kept up with the channel and watched, like, you guys know that I believe there could be a historical Jesus. 
But uh, he just he handled it very well, and I wish I knew his name because I'd give him a shout out. But yeah, so I had to like deal with these trolls though on YouTube, and it's like basically what I told that that one though that said a uh, uh, ghost and conspiracies and ancient aliens and ufology. That's all work of the devil. You need to get. He said I need to like pretty much shut down my third eye and like receive nothing as far as information except for uh, Christian propaganda. And I'm just like, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Like, pretty much close the third eye uh, and don't listen to anything except Christian propaganda. He gave he listed off like probably like five different like. I guess preachers or something that I need to just watch and listen to like that should be the only thing I should watch or listen to for like I guess the rest of my life and I was just like maybe okay and since you're suggesting like what I should do as far as like propaganda and books and stuff oh yeah and another thing was he, he brought up my reading like I should read only this uh, and he, he said, he did it like in a, such a way, he was like, you should study more. You should, uh, you, you need to open your horizons and study and read and someday you'll learn the truth. It's like, dude, I've read the Bible six times. I probably read the Bible more than you, motherfucker. Like, so, thought that shit was wild. But I, I pretty much, I, I kept it nice, I didn't cuss them. You know, you run into a sheep, you gotta be nice to them. Because sheep, sheep, you gotta look at them as sheep, like, and feel bad for them. Because they don't really know what's going on, for one. So, like, I mean, a sheep doesn't know that you're gonna slaughter it. So you just kind of lead them into the barn nicely and just kind of, you know, pet them and be verbally nice to them. So that's what I did. I just kind of like verbally was nice to the person. I was like, well, since you're suggesting what I should read and watch, I was like, I suggest you read the ancient Sumerian tablets and um, ancient Egyptian mythology, you know. And I said, both predate the Bible. I just read that. Now, and I told him, I said, I, I've read the Bible six times, cover to cover, you know, and pretty much that, like, I'm an agnostic, and I meant it as a compliment that I'm still watching this Christian propaganda and finding it enjoyable and informative. So, instead of just going, oh, wow, I will take that as a compliment, they have to, like, convert you at every cost. It's kind of sad, actually, like, I can't imagine consuming my entire life doing just that. I don't know. But yeah, he was like a... Well, it seems that you're attracted to the things of the devil. Actually, yeah. The devil's kind of cool. Like rock and roll, sex... You know, like, everything that feels good and is nice comes from the devil, as far as, like, rock and ro sex, drugs, and rock and roll, right? It's like, yeah, the devil's kind of a badass. Running with the devil. Ain't that how the song goes? I'm almost done here, guys. You guys are going to have to talk to me in the comments. I love talking to you guys, and I respond to each and every one of you guys. Whenever you guys comment. It doesn't show up as a notification sometimes, because YouTube's weird. I swear, they're just fucking with me. They're fucking with a lot of people out there, though. They're shutting down channels and everything. So... So definitely comment, and I'll check out the comments, and I get to each and every one of you guys as far as I'm concerned, because 
I don't have a lot of followers or subscribers, so I can actually talk to you guys on a one on one basis. So, yeah, hit me up definitely. This Charlie Charlie board's almost done. This round tip, actually, I'm surprised it worked out pretty well. I like it. You know? I guess my wife set it up. Kind of put it in, put it on there. For all you people wanting to know how to make occult items and stuff like that, um, be careful using this wood burner. If you got one at the house, they're they're awesome to use, but just saying in general, be careful because this shit is hot. It does smell good when you do it though. I do like the ending result it gives you on on uh, these occult items too. Gives it that hellfire look, you know. Running with the devil. Now that's stuck in my head. Burning it up. Sorry I kept you guys waiting so long on a video. I'm glad I still do have some subscribers and stuff that are watching. And where I'm shut down, like, will work shut down for like four days, I do plan on putting out more content. So you guys definitely stay tuned. Check back in. Yeah, pretty much, I, I like to give out the same message I give out to anyone. And I've gave this message out a billion times. You know, be who you are. And believe in what you want to believe. I'm not judging, man. You know, I believe in aliens. I play around with, like, uh, ghost hunting. I make occult items. I'm a weirdo. You know, and that's fine though. You know, it makes me happy and stuff. I like reading. I like getting into conspiracy theories. And you can tell me the craziest conspiracy theory. And not saying I will fall for it, but I'll sit there and talk to you about it. You know. Even some of the stupid ones, like Elvis is still alive. Like shit like that. Like, I'm not, like I said, I'm not saying I believe in it. But I'll sit there and entertain it, the thought, and go, man, that would be cool if Elvis was still alive and he faked his own death. Or the Jim Morrison conspiracy theory that he's still alive. Like, But, um, 
my thing is is what's worked best for me is going is being agnostic and just saying I don't know and I I read and watch Christian propaganda sometimes you know that's that's what I was raised in honestly I kind of look at it as like a newspaper like sometimes I just like to check in and see what they're doing you know and some of the stuff they put out is kind of cool and kind of neat but uh you know, just believe in what you want. And and the thing is that I always like to say about being agnostic is it's okay to say, I don't know. Say there is a God out there, and you have to sit in the judgment seat one day. Look at it as like a court case. And say he's putting you on judgment for all your sins. Just literally look look up at him and say, I, I didn't know. I, I don't know. Well, what do you mean? What were you? What, what were you? I told you I was Jehovah or Krishna or whatever. Now I got to send you to a lake of fire. And just simply just respond like that. I was agnostic. I didn't know. Well, why not? I didn't have physical proof. I didn't have visual proof. Like, I didn't know. And honestly, if that God sends you to a lake of fire, was he worth believing in And at the end of the day? But, uh, all right, enough with small talk. There we go. There's the Charlie Charlie board. I'm going to get some pencils. Um, it's not real hard to make. Next video will be um, me playing it for the first time. So, you all have a good day. Uh... Adios, I love you all. Don't be a troll. You know, I, I had to deal with some trolls the other day, and all I did was give out a compliment. So just just be nice to each other. Uh, respect each other's beliefs. Um, I love you all. Be careful.